Because the perceptions of Islam and the true values are so different, there's an enormous gap. Um, before I became Muslim, I had the same perceptions as everybody else. However, when I looked beyond the headlines and, uh, you know, and the prejudices, I found um, a, a religion that makes sense, that is beautiful, that contains uh, you know, the same ethical values as Christianity or Judaism. Did you know, for example, that Jesus is a prophet of Islam? Moses, so is Moses and Abraham. There's a whole chapter on Mary in the Quran. Peace of Christ to all. This is how they brainwash those trash Western people in the, in the West. And I call them trash because a trash is the one who is trashy. The one who don't want, he have all the ability. He have big libraries. You know, in the West, we have the biggest libraries. Everybody have internet. Everybody have computer. And still, look how they were able to convert this stupid woman. Do you know that there is a chapter in the Quran is called the chapter of Mary? Well, there's a chapter in the Quran is called the chapter of the cow. So what? And you know what? It is the biggest chapter. Does that mean the Muslims, they love the Hindus, they kill them? Do you know that Jesus is a prophet in Islam? Prophet of what? But this is an insult to Jesus. At the same time, if you love Jesus, why do you want to kill the Christians? If Muhammad is a man who respects Jesus, why he want to kill the Christians? Why he says kill them? Humiliate them. You see the stupidity when they speak about value? Value? The value of Islam. Do you know that Moses is a prophet of Islam? Well, Alexander the Great, who is a gay, is, is a prophet in Islam. What those people are talking about? And Christianity and Islam, they, they, they share the same ethical value? Like what? Like beating the women? Or revenge? Jesus says, love your enemy. Did the Quran say, uh, love your enemy? Or uh, revenge and kill them? Whatever you find them. Even the one who never hurt you. So when somebody comes to us with stupidity, stupidity is amazing. And actually Muslims, they look for those. And you know what? When somebody says, I became a Muslim, how you became a Muslim and you are wearing those clothes? Can you explain to me? What kind of a Muslim you are? Like you, you have your own uh, uh, version of Islam? When I became a Muslim, what, what is that? A Muslim woman, she show her face and she show her hair. She is a whore. Not only that, even Muhammad, he said, if a woman, she just wear perfume, she is a whore just for wearing perfume so what what beautiful value of Islam do you consider that those women who they are with you in the studio who they are wearing perfume they are whore and, and, and you yourself you are a whore according to Islam because you are showing your hair a Muslim woman it's easier for her according to Islam to show her vagina from showing her hair The, the, the amazing value of Islam and people they have misunderstood Islam let us hear more so we can laugh Prophet Muhammad was a woman's rights champion uh, he was champion of women what, what do you mean you, you mean he's a, he's a champion of uh, lying to the elders to get their money the same as he did to, to Khadija and he is a child molester the same as he did to Aisha and uh, uh, a father who sleep with, the, with, the, with his own son wife because he's horny. What champion? You know, if, if even this one make him a champion, he made a chapter in the Quran saying any Muslim woman she want to give herself to the Prophet for free. Knock at my door and don't come with your panty. Actually, Muslim women don't wear panties at that time. So they are ready. The only Prophet in, in the whole religion in the world who all women, they can sleep with him and, be, and this is only an exception for him. You ask the Muslim why? They say because he's a Prophet. Oh, okay. I like that job. I want to be there. So, and even you will see a Muslim saying, if the prophet, he asked to sleep with my wife, I will give him my wife. That will make him a prophet or that will make him a pimp. You can tell this man, he is using his position, his claim for his own benefit, not for God. A man of God, he should be busy teaching about God, not sleeping with women around. Muslims will come to you and they will say, do you know that David, he have 700 wives? Well, David was a king. And David in the Bible says, the Bible says it clearly that David was, was a sinner. And even God, he punished him for what he did. And even David, David, he was crying for God, asking for forgiveness. 
there's a huge difference between a book condemn what David did and a book his God saying to him, go and sleep with them, open their legs, uh, have fun because you are a prophet. Uh, not only that, the one is saying that is Allah supposedly and he's encouraging women that the, the good woman is the one who will open her legs to the prophet. Mashallah. And the prophet is always ready. Actually, there's a story where a woman, she is ugly, she came to Muhammad and she offered herself to sleep with him. And by the way, they, they sleep with him, not being wives. Remember, it's it's one night stand. Uh -huh. So he looked Muhammad at her. He, his head was down. He looked and sounded like she was very ugly. So he did not answer her. He ignored her. So he looked up again, and he, you know, she, she, you know, he didn't like her. She asked him again. So he said, "Who of you can uh, give uh, give something? Give me something, and I will give you this woman." He is giving up women. The women he don't like, he give her to somebody else to sleep with her. The women she offer herself to him, he is giving up to to somebody else as if he own her. He treat women as if they are a bunch of chickens. This woman, maybe, she's a poor woman. She said to herself, if I sleep with him, I will get guaranteed food and respect from people. Maybe she have children they want to feed. Maybe she is a prostitute. But you are telling me that this is uh, something to be proud about? Yeah. This is telling me a lot about you. I'm a social reformer. Um... Muhammad is a social reformer. Uh, how is that? Wait, wait. What a social reformer. Oh, if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, beat him, humiliate him, spit in his face. You see, this is a social reformer. So uh, 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 this is a lot of reform, making people hating each other. Hmm? Or maybe, uh, I don't want to talk about beating the women. You know, I, we spoke about it a lot. You can search. There's tons of videos. Go to Mimar TV and see tons of videos speaking about Muslims teaching men how to beat their wives. They made books, how to beat your wife in the West. So you cannot leave, so you don't leave remarks. So if she called the police for you, you know they can, they will not take you to jail because they will find not, nothing. They advise men to put a board under the panty of the wife, and they beat her with the belt. Therefore, the belt will hit the board, or even a stick, but it's not going to leave remark in her in her skin. It's going to cause a lot of pain, but it's not going to leave remark. And you are telling me about value, yeah, a lot of value. You know, an environmentalist. We don't know all of this. Absolutely, you're looking puzzled. We don't know this. This is just not known. I think the right, two right. values of Islam are the best hidden secret, and it's time we pull the veil on it and uh, come up. Yeah, like pull the veil. What about pulling the veil of women first? How come you don't have a veil? Pull the veil of it. So all those Muslims in the in Saudi Arabia, they are wrong about forcing women to wear veil and you are the one who is just converted to Islam who do not know even how to say two Arabic words you are the one who know Islam and they are wrong what is your veil? and show the positive values when I tell any of these things that I've just mentioned tell to us, my producer us. on television you know what he says? my god Islam needs PR really? <laughs> Gisa Sagal, there you go, a completely different view of Islam that most of us have as we heard it. You know, let us stop talking, uh, we have enough. Let us show you some PR of Islam. PR, positive. Huh? Let us show you the positive of Islam. You can read the story of uh, of uh, the rape of Safiya and how Muhammad, he, uh, I was looking for a translation in English, you know, for us we read in Arabic, how Muhammad, he raped Safiya and he even have a man in his in, in the front of his tent uh, uh, he was uh, protecting the prophet during the time he was raping the women he killed her husband he killed her brother he killed her father and he killed all her tribe and he slept with her in the same night Muhammad was a reformer Muhammad was a champion Muhammad is a man of ethic how dare you? What kind? You know, imagine a woman. She just at least wait and like a week after what happened. He killed all her family. In the same day, he raped her. What those people are talking about? Is it amazing? What about this hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari? Verse number three. Book number 43, hadith number 648. When the Muslims, they came to the to the people of uh, uh, Al-Ansar, 
and Ansar supposedly is the supporters of uh, Muhammad and most of them they are from the tribes of it's called Al Aws and Al Khazraj uh, and uh, uh, we see in here that when they moved with them when the Muslims have like those people they became Muslims they noticed that the people of Ansar their women they are they have the overhand over men they have they have the upper hand which means they are stronger and even men, men they listen to them so our women they started uh, uh, like acquiring the habits of the Ansari women once I shouted uh, at my wife and she uh, bid me back uh, my coin and this uh, and I dislike what she uh, uh, should answer back so she said why do you take it ill that I so read 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 the whole story so you will see at that time actually even in the time of Muhammad women they have a lot of power not women they are getting beaten but when Muhammad he came he this is the reformer now the reformer he made the men they beat the women as you see in the front of your eyes we can go right now and we can show it to you from Islamic uh, website because some Muslim they might say this is not an accurate hadith here we go if you read in here this is Sahir Bukhari book number 43 hadith number what 648 as you see in here with me that women at that time they have the upper hand over their husbands and the Muslim they fool you they say do you know at that time that they use uh, uh, to uh, to bury their girls they hate women this is false this is false even actually there's a new book uh, uh, made by by a Muslim scholar himself saying that the the uh, uh, you know the burying it was not about uh, uh, about you know like burying them alive in their graves it, it have to a different actually I will make a video about this so explain to you what this was about exactly and remember you know when Muslims they speak about that isn't Muhammad himself before he became a prophet he was working for Khadija which means his boss was Khadija and she is not a Muslim so uh, uh, this is telling us that women before Islam they are leaders men they work for Khadija and Khadija is the boss and then they try to say to you that women they were not really given their rights Islam gave them their rights well what do you mean Muhammad used to be the guy who washed dishes to Khadija after Muhammad he became a prophet what happened to Muslim Muslim women in Islam what is the business women can she really do a business can she travel by herself can she speak to men she cannot to do a business you have to talk to people you have to see people you have to move around you have to have a freedom so when somebody speak to us with the stupidity what about the women she don't inherit equal to the man what about the women she have no right over her children what about the man he can divorce the wife but the wife she cannot divorce the man one word the man he can divorce her even you know you can search right now for divorce divorcing women by text message you can divorce your wife in Islam by text message because it's easy women they are employee and, and the man is the employer so when somebody try to fool us with such a thing that will not work what about even reward in the heaven the Muslim women she will not get 72 men which later we found that in Aramaic uh, the word hur it mean a grape and the, 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 the idiot Muslims because Muhammad he stole a lot of things from the Aramaic people uh, he was promising them a, a fruit and grape in the heaven and then the, the, the Muslims the idiots ones they explain that uh, or they understand it as women who they will sleep with it's you know what is what is the reward of the Muslim women what she will get in the heaven if this is true that a man he will get 72 uh, 72 women at least the women she will be what they will say oh she will be with her husband but the man have already 72 so she will be in the top of them so she is one of her sex toys one of his sex toys so enough is enough don't forget guys to tell your friends about my book the deception of Allah and now it is in Kindle and actually a lot of Muslims are buying it and the number is going really high up thank you and God bless you all see you with more videos